We've got six drivers up here today, five that have achieved uh, over two million miles of safe driving. Uh, we've got one driver who will be receiving a humanitarian award. Um, first of all, the two million milers, um, David Farmer. He runs a, a Salt Lake to Dallas uh, net op lane from Colorado Springs. Grew up a uh, army brat. Uh, Lloyd Nelson, oh, by the way, David's been with us for 24 years also. Lloyd Nelson, 26 years with Warner Enterprises. Uh, runs TCU, lives just down the road in Eagle, Nebraska. Reginald Shaw, 23 years with the company. Uh, runs Dollar General, uh, Ardmore, um, and lives in Dallas, also a trainer. Gets a workout every day. Brian Shirley, also a, a native Nebraskan, or actually native uh, Pennsylvania, but a Nebraska boy now. Um, 15 years, uh, lives in Papillion, Nebraska. Uh, 15 years, 2 million miles in 15 years, that's about as fast as it can be done. Kevin Stacy, 20 years with Warner, runs a van division um, out of Ohio, uh, also does training. And on the end is our humanitarian award winner, uh, Mark Randall, 12 years with Warner, um, runs van division out of, uh, uh, his home is in Mesquite, Nevada, um, also a trainer. So collectively, this group um, has logged over 10 million miles of safe driving. That's pretty impressive. They've got over 108 years experience at Warner Enterprises alone. I just am glad to be here to slowly follow behind. I learned years ago that slow is fast. It's, it's to slow down, look at what's out there, enjoy what's out there, and use all your senses to, to drive safely. I want to thank everybody for this plaque that I got received. I've been here for 26 years, I've seen the company grow, and I appreciate working for Warners. I worked for other companies before, but this is one of the best companies I've worked for. I appreciate this, and I want to thank everybody for it. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Speechless is just, this day finally came, and words just can't describe how I feel right now. And just being part of the Warner team, and just looking forward to making it three million miles. I want to thank everybody for being here and like I said it's just it's all just speechless right now. Thank y'all. Thanks to everybody and thanks to Warner family for giving me this opportunity to do this. Thanks to my great family for their support. And uh, thank you. You guys have a good day. I don't know what to say just thanks to Warner family. I'm glad to be here working for them and hope I have many more. Um, I'm here to present the Humanitarian Award to Mark Randall. And uh, those of you that know how to earn the Humanitarian Award, it's about saving someone's life. It was on October 24th. He was traveling on I-80, where it merges from 680, right here in Omaha, Nebraska, with a student. They drop a student off at the terminal. And he sees a motorcycle pass him. And he can see that this motorcycle rider is tailgating a car in front of him. The rider uh, looked back to change lanes gassed the motorcycle, and ran the motorcycle right in, in the back of a car at 60 plus miles an hour. And he shuts that truck down in a 28,000 pound load within uh, feet of the motorcycle rider. And all Mark has, you know, his vision is this motorcycle rider and bike sliding across the interstate and resting in, in his lane. And that motorcycle rider ended up stopping within feet in fact, Mark could not see that rider or the bike when both uh, vehicles come to rest. Motorcycle rider, bumped, bruised, dazed, confused, but otherwise okay. Uh, state patrol, first state trooper says, this guy, meaning the rider, needs to go buy some lottery tickets. And the other guy says, uh, you know, how does a guy uh, lose control of a motorcycle on the interstate going over 60 miles an hour and not get run over? And Mark picked points to the big blue truck and says, well, that's why. So Mark, um, your instinct uh, starting to break that truck before um, that accident occurred is the difference of the feet that saved that man's life. So uh, I would like to present to you the humanitarian award on behalf of the company and behalf of a very, very proud friend of yours. So come on up. I thought about this. I thought about what I was going to say, but there's really not a lot you can say. It's not something people plan for. 
my association with Werner, why I'm still here after 11, 12 years, it's not the buildings, it's not the trucks, it's not the computers, it's not the technology, it's the people. We've tried to put a voice to just how proud we are of you guys. Uh, I hope we've done it effectively, but uh, from the bottom of our hearts, we really appreciate you and really respect what you do. Thank you.